welcome to the 1980s <laughs> to start this hairstyle you want to get some straws I chose the skinny ones because I want big huge curls so you want to take really small pieces and roll it up after you spray it with a little bit of water and then just take one of those clear goodie elastics to hold the straw together my pieces or are about I would say like a fourth to a half inch wide and quite thin that way I get these huge voluminous curls as you'll see at the end this took me about an hour and a half thankfully I have this little sweet helper right here beside me she's the best and I love her so much and I'm thankful that she's in my videos with me now if you didn't know I also have a YouTube channel you can go check that out um, just look me up as Elizabeth Yates, and there you'll find me on YouTube. Please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel over there. I'm just under a thousand subscribers, so I'd really, really appreciate that. I sped it up so not as to bore you to death. It did take me a very long time. I think I said like an hour and a half it was. Um, thankfully, Cindy was there to help me. And I'm all done. Um, just go to bed, and then the next morning I woke up and I did my makeup first. I'm using this really, really, really good concealer by e.l.f. It was so cheap and it's so good. I use it almost every day just around my eyes. Then you want to take these two blue eyeshadows. You can do a dark and a lighter blue together, kind of a cool tone blue. And you want to just put it into the crease and then onto your eyelid. Back in the 1980s, they were big on blue eyeshadow going all the way up to their brows, so I decided to just go ahead and do the whole look. I did the lighter blue eyeshadow right beside my brow, and then I did my brows with the brown eyeshadow. They always contoured with pink, so I did contouring with pink, and then up onto my cheekbones, and then a bright pink lipstick. Now I'm going to take all of my curlers out. If you want, you can use a small pair of scissors and cut each elastic out and then just pull the curl out. It's a bit easier that way or you can just take them out um, you know by pulling them apart and then just unraveling them. So that's what I did. It took me I would say 30 minutes to get these out but it was worth it. These curls stayed for about three to four days. So I'm almost done here. Be careful with the ends of your hair because you can rip them a little bit, um, so just watch out for that when you take them out. I'm done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the, my hair was so short. As you guys know, my hair is below my, or around hip length, I would say. And look how short it is. So <laughs> it was the craziest curls. Now you want to brush them, and I mean brush them to get the big big hair look back in the 1980s I was born in 1986 if you didn't know I didn't wasn't a teenager around that time but they were big hoop earrings and then the biggest hair on the planet so just brush those curls out girl and then you can go outside and you will literally look like you walked out of the 1980s thank you guys so so much for watching thank you for subscribing and enjoying my content I love making it for you if there's any a hairstyle you would ever want to see and um, feel free to DM me I would love to do that for you thank you so much for watching I will see you guys tomorrow for another tutorial thank you so much bye